Hello children, my name is Jayanti Devedi. Mathematics is like a game. To play the game, it's very important to understand the rules. If there are 14 chapters in the book, then there are 14 games. And for each game, there are different rules. Once you understand the rule, then you start thinking the topic in that manner. Once you understand the logic behind it, there will be no difficulty in understanding the topic. Only you need to apply that. My topic for today is rational number. That is also the first chapter in your book. It is very interesting and basic topic and that we need in higher classes also. We know its basics because that we already did in class 7th. So quickly we revise what we had learned so far. In our number system, there are basic names, natural numbers, whole numbers, integers. Natural numbers are 1, 2, 3 and so on. Whole numbers are 0, 1, 3 and so on. Integers are negative numbers, 0 and positive numbers. In this set of numbers, biggest is integer. So integer covers whole numbers and natural numbers both. This is a basic understanding with which we are already familiar. Any number which can be represented in the form of P upon Q where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to 0 are rational numbers. All integers are rational numbers because 7 is an integer. We can write this in the form of P by Q by writing 1 as a denominator. So we can say that rational number covers all integers and this part is a fraction. Once the concept is clear, then it is very easy to solve. Let's solve this question. Add 3 upon 16 plus 7 upon 40. The concept is that when we add or subtract, remember here I am not talking about multiplication or division. Whenever we add or subtract rational numbers, the first thing is to make their denominators equal by taking their LCM. LCM is the least common multiple. We know the multiples of 16 as 16, 32, 48 and so on. And the multiples of 40 are 40, 80, 120 and so on. We have to take the lowest multiple which comes in the table of 16 as well as in the table of 40. It should be the lowest multiple. Therefore, LCM is 80. There is one short way also that we say the table of higher number that is 40. We find out the lowest multiple of 40 which comes in the table of 16 also. So 40 ones are 40 which will not come in the table of 16. 40 twos are 80. Now 80 comes in the table of 16 also. So 80 is the LCM. Now what is the next step that we convert 3 upon 16 and 7 upon 40 into equivalent rational number by making their denominator equal to their LCM that is 80. So if we multiply 16 by 5 we get 80. In the same way if we multiply 40 by 2 we get 80. So since there we have to convert this into equivalent rational number so we multiply the numerators also by the same number that is here in this case by 5 and here in this case by 2. So we get 15 upon 80 plus 14 upon 80. Now the denominators are same. It means we can add the numerators. So 15 plus 14 equal to 29 by 80. Solve another question. In this question we have to add 5 upon minus 12 and 17 upon 42. Now here negative sign is in the denominator. We know this 4 upon minus 5 is equal to minus 4 upon 5. So we write this step again. And we write it like this, minus 5 upon 12 and 17 upon 42. Now the next step is to find the LCM of 12 and 42, which is 84. Now we convert minus 5 upon 12 and 17 upon 42 into equivalent rational number by making their denominators equal to their LCM that is 84. Here we get the LCM equal to 84 by multiplying 12 by 7 and here 42 by 2. Now once we get the once we get their denominators equal to 84 the next step to add their numerators. So minus 35 plus 34 is minus 1 upon 84 which is the required answer. Next 
let's solve one more question here first we have to find the lcm of 4318 that is the lowest multiple which come in, comes in the table of 4 3 and 18 now 18 ones are is 18 which will come in the table of 3 but not in the table of 4 now 18 twos are is 36 which will come in the table of 3 as well as in the table of 4 so 36 in the lcm now next step is to convert all this into equivalent rational number by making their denominator equal to 36 once their denominators are equal we solve the numerators and the answer is minus 7 by 36 take another question now for solving this question we need to go step by step first take negative sign of 2 to the numerator next step is to cancel negative negative of minus 7 upon minus 3 and third step is to write 1 as a denominator of 2 so we write the this step again and we write it like this now the next step is to find the lcm of all the denominators once we get the lcm we convert all the num rational numbers into equivalent rational numbers whose all denominators are equal to their lcm that is 12 once their denominators are equal we solve the numerators so the answer is 21 upon 12 this is not enough we need to simplify it further and this is the simplified form of the 7 upon 4 let's simplify this question here the first step is to cancel negative sign and we write this question again now the next step is to find the lcm of their denominators so start telling the table of the higher number that is 36 36 ones are 36 36 comes in the table of 3 but not in the table of 24 36 twos are 72 now 72 comes in the table of 3 6 as well as in the table of 24 so 72 is the lcm now the next step is to convert into equivalent rational number by converting their denominators equal to their lcm that is 72 Once their denominators are same, we solve the numerators, and the answer is minus one one three upon seventy two. This is not the simplified form. We convert this into simplified form, and our answer would be this. I continue this topic in my next video. By that time, keep practicing, stay healthy. Thank you.